I don't even know why you went to that in the RA. Yeah, you we need to get your ass and go home with your scary self. Bye. I believe you shouldn't be in uh, AR-15. You got to raise your goddamn children. My white girlfriend told me that by the time they was able to sit up at the kitchen table by themselves, that's when their parents started telling them about Negroes. And when her daddy would come visit her, she would tell me I couldn't come over. But guess who showed up for dinner unannounced? And Mr. Buckaloo fell in love with this colored girl. You ain't gonna stereotype me. Ain't a damn thing wrong with AR-15. That's that person who put their hand on that goddamn trigger. And most times y'all know y'all goddamn kids crazy. Because any time the police thought I was violent, I owned a fucking BB gun. They would have had me by now. I, last time I owned a gun and the only time I owned a gun was 1989 and my nephew stole it. And I went to Internal Affairs and turned his ass in and my serial number. Mm-mm. Y'all going to do me. I tell him I'm not buying no gun because me being called a nigga, damn near kidnapped by two white men. Don't you know if I had a gun, I would have shot them motherfuckers in their goddamn eyes. But being able to walk away and you think about that shit, was it worth it? I got away, and when he called me a nigga twice, it ain't what you fucking called me. It's what I answered to. I didn't even say nothing to him. I say his old ass got one foot on the banana peel and the other foot in his grave. He'll be dead yesterday. Now, don't give a damn what you are, you can be gay. Just respect the fact that I don't do men's or women's. I'm scared of men, and I got a goddamn vibrator, a bad motherfucker know how to hit that clit.